Ho, ho, ho! Welcome to another episode of Cooking with Santa. Today we're going to be making a gingerbread cake using a mold. Actually, it's a bunt pan mold. You want to preheat your oven to 325 degrees. And this takes two and a half cups of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of ginger, one teaspoon of cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon of cloves, a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, one teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of baking powder, one cup of sugar, two thirds of a cup of brown sugar, one cup of butter, four large eggs, one teaspoon vanilla, one and a quarter cups milk. You want to sift together the first seven ingredients first and set them aside. Then you want to blend the sugars with the butter. And after that, you will add one egg at a time. Once each egg is blended in, you will add the next. Then add the vanilla. And then you're going to blend your flour mix in with the milk alternating flour and milk until you've got all the components filled. You're going to fill the bunt pan three quarters of the way and cook at 325. Normally you're cooking baking at 350. This is 325 from anywhere to 55 to 65 minutes. But again, you want to test it with a toothpick, putting it down the middle to make sure it comes out clean. So, let's get started. All right, next we're going to work with the butters and sugars. So there's half a cup, and here's the other half a cup. We'll get this in the blender. Install the beater. Add the regular sugar and the brown sugar. We'll let this blend until we get a nice smooth consistent mixture all right that's pretty smooth so we're going to start adding the eggs one at a time Okay, our four eggs have been incorporated. Adding the vanilla here. Putting our splash guard on. Lower the speed a little. And start adding our flour mixture. Oh, this is already smelling so good. I 
excellent batter. Now add our milk. We were supposed to do this alternately, which I did not do. But we'll just give it a little extra blending time. Now isn't that a nice looking batter? This is the bunt pan made by Nordicware. It looks like a nice little gingerbread house. Now they recommend butter and flour or the Baker's Joy. I'm gonna go with the Baker's Joy, just a lot easier to utilize. So we'll spray and brush it in, make sure we get all the nooks and crannies. Okay, we've got this blended quite nicely. Now we're going to pour our batter in to our mold. Now remember, we only want to fill it up three quarters of the way to prevent any overflow during baking. pound on it to make sure it settles into the trees. They also recommend that we pull it up to the, up the sides. Probably a good idea since we've got some trees up here and some steps. So let's get all of this done. I gotta tell you, this smells delicious. All right, we're gonna cook this for about an hour at 325 degrees. So is this cute or what? 